Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be installing new radiator guards for my son's 2015 YZ250FX. Uh, we bought Deval. Um, I've had other manufacturers and other brands. Uh, my bike, my 2016FX, has Deval. It came on it when I bought the bike, and I really like them. And the reason why I like them is because it puts a lot of space between the radiator and the guard so you can clean them and also install them easier. So let's get to it. All right, so I went ahead and took the seat off. I took the body panel off just to make it a little bit easier. And we also had to take one of the engine mount bolts off because one of the brackets are going to be uh, anchored to this point. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is install this. And this is all going to be pretty much hand tight until we get everything the way we want it. On my other bike, um, this tends to rub right here. So what I end up doing is I ended up uh, end up putting an extra piece of rubber on this hose so it doesn't rub. All right, so we got the bolts off. This guard fits like that. Then you can feed the socket. I use a long extension. All right, so that goes on like so. Now that's gonna be a little, we'll keep it a little loose. So here's where it gets a little tricky. As you can see, we have a fan installed. And if we were to use the standard bracket, this bracket would fit behind here, and that's no good because it'll touch the fan. So what I have seen other guys do and what I have done on my bike is that I install this plate on the top side. The only way to do that though is to take these things off. And you can move the fasteners up and just use a regular fastener and a, uh, a nut behind it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pounding these things out and mounting this plate on top instead of behind. So what I've done here is I've put a bolt in there and basically this, this piece is kind of just tack welded, compressed into the aluminum. So what I do is I put a bolt in there uh, that fits the threads and then I'm gonna strike it a couple times and it should pop off the back. So that pops it clean. We're going to need to do this to both top and bottom. And there you have it. That's how you get those out. All right, so now that we have the uh, grommets popped off, we have to do one other thing. And because of the fan, See, there's a, a stiffener rib right here, and that is now hitting the fan. So what we have to do is we've got a mark to see where this fan hits this guard, and then we're going to trim it back. So we're probably going to have to trim it back about a half an inch. So we got to do that next. All right, so we've got 
a piece cut off. We rounded it off a little bit and now it's nice and smooth. So we got the bracket done. We got it nice and it fits nice and flush now. So we have actually plenty of room right here. So I cut it back just a little bit further, but not too much. I mean, it's still going to be stiff. This is not going to hit the fan. This is a tricky part. I'm using, uh, this obviously isn't, doesn't come with the kit, but I bought a, a plastic lock washer and it's just a little tricky <laughs> to feed this through. We'll do the top one first. So it holds it in place. that is this is now complete and we did the modification that we needed to use this okay now we're on the other side of the bike I have to take the other engine mount bolt loose and then we mount the other bracket Okay, I know you guys can't see this, but I'm putting on the other side. Okay, so now we're ready to install the bracket. Remember, you want to install this bracket behind. The torque specification for this engine bolt is 25 pounds. We got our torque wrench. Essentially, the braces are on. That's how quick and easy they install. And it was nice because when I cleaned my bike, these things popped off real quick and they went on real quick. So it wasn't much of a hassle. All right, we're ready to install the body panel. And the first thing we're going to do is put on these clips that have the um, threads already on the back of them. And you're going to want to put the threads facing forward or away from you. This is going to be what holds on the new bolts that we're going to put on. The fat end should go towards the bolt. And this keeps the body panel from pushing through. So it's that's what it looks like from the other side. Push. And then the same one. So the first thing I like to do when putting in the fasteners is I'm going to put the gas tank bolt in first. And then this is the second bolt. That goes in. Okay, so the panel is still pretty much loose, but now we have 
now we have the correct alignment. So then I'm gonna, these are gonna, uh, these two bolts are dictating where these are gonna end up finally. All right, so the next thing we wanna do, we take a bolt and a washer, we put that through, then we put the spacer between the body panel and the clip that we just installed, and then this installs. Okay, so that's loose. Then we take just a bolt and a washer and we feed this through and this does not get a spacer. The reason why I think is because you have to maintain the alignment here of the air box cover. All right, so this is the final one. We're gonna do bolt, washer, and then spacer. This one does get a spacer. I never use the ratchet or the cordless ratchet when starting bolts. It's no, never a good thing. And there you have it, one body panel on. And this is the moment of truth. All right, so we're gonna check to see if the air box is going to fit on. And it does, it's nice and it's, it is all lined up. There's the radiator guards installed and if you noticed uh, there's plenty of room between the radiator and the guard. So any leaves or any dirt, we can power wash in between there real easy. So the bottom gets a spacer, but the top does not. Top does not get a spacer. The other spacer that comes with the kit gets installed right here. All right, guys, we are done installing the Duvall radiator guards and braces I think they look good they went in without any problems other than having to cut the brace here to allow for the fan that was expected there were no surprises this is a good product and I highly recommend it and the wonderfulness is that the body panel lines up with the air box cover that sometimes can be a pain on some of the other models, but this one lined up perfectly, and I am absolutely pleased. And here's the other side. Looks good. Everything lines up nice. Highly recommend this product. Appreciate you guys watching. I guess I got to do some more cleanup, and everybody is gone right now because it's unseasonably warm. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.